Now we're going to attempt to try to do this project one more time. Now some of you with sharp eyes will notice there's bits of rubbish all over this here. It's because we have done this, done this project one time before. But somebody forgot to turn the microphones on. Mentioning no names, <coughs> the rain. Um, so if you see bits of scuffy bits, it's because I've had to pull it all apart and reassemble it. I, I don't have the joy of making three sets for mistakes, etc., etc. but we're going to do the same thing. Uh, anyway, stick with me. Just, just forgive all the little bits and gummy bits and that. Uh, we've got one of the Father Christmases, the downloads and that. You don't forget you get them in different sizes, different colours. You can see a few more options here on the table, different things you can do. I'm just going to show you one... Uh, technique that we've got here, one project where it gives the Father Christmas in a little bit of a sand dune, not a sand dune, a snow dune, shut your face you, you can't call anybody for making mistakes today, uh, snow dune, <laughs> snow drift, what would you call snow it? Drift. A snow drift, it's, it's a bit like my repertoire at the moment, my career is just drifting away. Right, let's try and go through this and let's try and get it right. There you go, there's the Father Christmas there and all I've done is cut out the main bit and it was stuck to a card, so I'm, I cut that out again to show you. And uh, I'm going to glue that down on the front of this white card. Now, it's only a white card, just a plain white card, but I'm just showing you different ways. If you have a look at all the different uh, projects that exist, you can get lots of inspiration on different ways of making these Father Christmases. Right, I'm going to stick that one down first. Now, I'm going to cut it out before I go any further. I'm going to try and create a kind of a, a snow drift behind him. So open up your card. And what I'm going to do is start down in this corner here and cut it up here, like so. That's the Because you're going to need it smaller at the front and larger at the back. And then you've got to cut out... I'll try and move these out of the way so I'm not getting stuck on everything. I'm sorry it's upside down, but it's kind of a bit impossible to cut this out without really seeing what I'm doing. And cut around there like so. Going around the Christmas tree. Now, the great thing about these uh, Father Christmases is that you can obviously print them out whatever size you want, etc., etc. And um, you can decorate them. Uh, you can put glue and glitter on there. You can put sequins on there. Lots of different ways of doing that. I'm sorry this is a bit boring, but uh, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going around the outside of the Father Christmas. Now, that could be one way of working on it. If you uh, just want that Father Christmas like that, you've got a card, so I've cut that bit out, and then you've got the kind of an overlap, so that's one way you're doing it. But I'm actually going to cut. See how posh I've gone then? I'm going to cut the Father Christmas out all the way down the right-hand right side here, down to top of my snow drift and I'm going to have the continuation of the snow drift in a moment when I can show you I'm going to cut there right I'm going to continue the snow drift up here like that just kind of wobble it out and then if you continue to wobble your scissors up here like so you've got that kind of shape to your card so you can see it's like a graph. It's like starting low here and slowly building up, building up. So that when you fold the card, you've got the back of the snow drift there in the card. Now what I would do if I, if I was doing this and finishing it off, I've only done this bit to show you the basics of how to create that card. But it's very tempting to put a line of glue down there, there and along the top here, almost icicle like, and you could put glitter on there and really create a nice so snowstorm there. Or maybe just a little bit of blue, just the edge of your stamping ink pad, pale blue, and just just slide that down like that, so it'll create a nice kind of a blue effect. Because, uh, do you remember Dolly Blues? You, do you remember Dolly Blues? Oh, come on, you're old enough to remember Dolly Blues. I remember a neighbour of mine, God, tells you how old I am. It was before she had a washing machine, she had a big tub outside, filled it with hot water, and she had a, a big dolly that used to go in and tr 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 all by hand, and she used to put these little bags of blue in to make the whites look whiter. A dolly blue, that's a dolly blue. So if you use a bit of dolly blue on white, it makes the white look whiter. Anyway, if you want to make a card like that, or any of these that you can see, so simple and easy to do, just download it. That's a simple project. You can finish it off any way that you want. So just uh, download it and make it. 
That the what? The decoupage bit. Oh yeah, the decoupage bit. All right, come back to me, clever clog. <laughs> Getting so carried away. You thought that was the end of the project, didn't you? So did I. <laughs> Sorry, it's because I've done it once today already. <laughs> Right, I'll put the next grubby little bit of topper over the top, the decoupage bit. Let's have a look, look at the grubby bit. Because it's getting covered up, it won't really matter. So that's going to go over the top there like so. I'm going to give those such a slack legs in a minute, I can tell you. There you go. There's the first part of the decoupage laid up with all the grubby rotten bits on it. And then we've got another bit here. It's not so grubby, this one. And stick that down over there. You know, this is like deja vu. I feel like I've been doing this all morning. And then I've got the next section <laughs> that's going on there. Do you want to use your close-up? You know you do. There you go, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl then? Who's a good girl then? Then we can put this one on here. It's a good job we have fun here, isn't it? Now look at the grubby bits. That's Lorraine's fault. And then I'm just going to cover this up. There you go. I can, I'm, I'm always covering Lorraine's mistakes up. <laughs> and then that goes on the top there. Now it looks poly perfect, doesn't it? Then you can open it up and you've got your snowstorm behind there. So there's the simple card and as you can see you've got the 3D look on the outside there. And that just stands up and you've got your snowstorm be behind it. Snowstorm, you see, I'm, we're, both, we're, having a we're having a terrible day, aren't we? Absolutely. You were having a terrible day. Might be good to come back to me occasionally when I'm talking to everybody. Don't want to look. She, she's still got a long way to go. Long way to go. <laughs> she thinks it's just sat there doing buttons, but sometimes you have to pay attention. Um... One to me. Anyway, you can see here we've got lots of different examples of things that you can do. Have a look at the other projects. Uh, and while you're here looking at the Father Christmases, we've got great category with Father Christmases and lots of different Christmas ones. Just download and print them out and make them any time that you want to make a lovely card like that one. <laughs>